Mistakes happen on set all the time. That's why they have a medical team on the site of most series and movie productions. However, there have been some sets where too many mistakes were made, and that's when people can't help but become a little suspicious. Some of these movies and TV shows have resulted in numerous injuries, failed careers, and even deaths. There is nothing fans could do but deem them to be cursed. Remember to subscribe to Rumor Juice and give that notification bell a click so you can be the first to know when we upload new content. Rosemary's Baby You might be more familiar with the Rosemary's Baby miniseries that was released back in 2014 that featured Zoe Saldana. Today, we're not talking about that version of the film. We're talking about the original Rosemary's Baby, which was released in 1968. Here's just a little note to let you know that we will be dropping some spoilers. So don't say we didn't warn you when we drop the plot of these films. The horror film tells the story of an actor selling his soul to the devil in exchange for fame and fortune, sacrificing his beautiful wife and her unborn child as part of the bargain. It was director Roman Polanski's breakout film, which brought him a huge amount of success. At the time, Roman was married to the very famous actress Sharon Tate. Just a year later, Polanski's home was broken into by the infamous Charles Manson and his family members. Tate, who was pregnant at the time, was gruesomely murdered by one of Charles' people. While they were ransacking the home, one of them said, I'm the devil, and I'm here to do the devil's business. Fans couldn't help but notice the scary similarity from Sharon's tragic death to the plot of Rosemary's Baby. That horrific event, alongside the early death of the composer of the film just months after the film premiered at just 38 years old, and the satanic narrative throughout the movie, has led many conspiracy theorists to believe that Rosemary's Baby is a cursed film. Superman the Superman curse covered TV and movies, and probably one of the more tragic stories we're telling in this video. From 1951 to 1958, George Reeves played Superman, and he was the first to fall victim to the curse that came along with this famous role in The Adventures of Superman. While it was nowhere nearly as popular as it was soon to become, the role of Clark Kent shot George into stardom and made him a massive Hollywood name. But Reeves was no stranger to fame, because he already had a booming movie career before taking on the role of Superman, having appeared in over 40 films. In 1959, Reeves was found dead at just the age of 45 in an upstairs bedroom of his home. His girlfriend was downstairs with other party revelers when they heard a gunshot. While Reeves' death was initially considered a suicide, many believe there is more to the story. Conspiracy theorists note that his fingerprints weren't found on the gun, and suggest the actor was murdered. But whatever the cause of death was, it took Reeves too soon. Christopher Reeve was the next victim of the curse. Reeve became a Hollywood star and the man of every woman's dreams back in the 80s. He played the role of Clark Kent in four Superman films and fans couldn't get enough of him. He was talented, handsome, and had a bright future in the world of movies. Unfortunately, his climb up the Hollywood ladder was quickly cut short after a tragic accident that led to him being completely paralyzed from the neck down. Reeve was riding his horse in an equestrian competition when the animal suddenly stopped short of a jump. The actor was thrown over the front of the horse. It was alleged that his hands became jumbled in the reins, which resulted in the entire impact of the fall being placed on his head. The impact of the landing broke my first second vertebrae. I was heard to say, I can't breathe. And that was it. Christopher sadly died in 2004 at just the age of 54. His cause of death was heart failure, associated with his catastrophic injury that caused his paralysis. His wife, Dana Reeves, died two years later at the age of 44 from lung cancer. The Superman co-stars didn't get off easily either. Lee Quigley, the actor that played the infant Clark Kent, died at only 14 years old from a drug overdose. Margot Kidder, who portrayed Lois Lane, got into a serious car accident just three years after her role in the film and was deemed physically unfit to work. After finally physically healing from the accident, she then suffered a nervous breakdown and was found wandering around a stranger's backyard, looking completely disheveled. Her hair had been chopped off and she was in complete distress. 
convinced that her first husband was trying to kill her. Kidder had attempted to fake her own death to get away and had been living on the streets. She was thankfully able to make a recovery, but there was never a known cause for her nervous breakdown. Poltergeist. Classic 80s horror film Poltergeist is thought to be cursed and for a good reason too. In the six years following the film's release, several of the cast and crew members have tragically and very unexpectedly passed away. 22-year-old actress Dominique Dunn was strangled to death by her boyfriend shortly after it came out. And the child star Heather O'Rourke passed away at age 12 due to a misdiagnosed intestinal issue. Two other cast members' deaths related to surgery and cancer also sadly occurred. Aside from untimely deaths, one actor claimed that there were real skeletons that were used as props. It was an alleged claim, but still super creepy. And another actor was rumored to have performed an exorcism on set. The Dark Knight. So just because a movie is deemed cursed or riddled with bad luck, doesn't mean it does badly at the box office. Everyone knows that the Batman movie The Dark Knight has been coined part of a legendary trilogy. Unfortunately, following the film's release, there was a number of tragic events that occurred that couldn't simply be shrugged off as bad luck. Heath Ledger died from an overdose of a fatal mix of prescription drugs, leaving behind his young daughter to grow up without a father. Christian Bale was accused of the assault of both his mother and sister. They claimed he lashed out at them in the suite of his hotel. They reported the alleged incident to a police station the next day. Bale denied everything, and there was no evidence to prove what had happened. So luckily for the actor, the charges were dropped. Morgan Freeman was in a serious car accident. It was possible that Freeman had fallen asleep at the wheel and lost control of the car, which caused the accident. The car went off the edge of the road and flipped several times. However, no other cars were involved in the accident. The automobile was so badly damaged that rescue workers had to pry him from the crumpled vehicle using hydraulic tools. The actor was in a serious condition after the accident, with injuries that included a broken arm, broken elbow, and a damaged shoulder. One neuron, you're alive. Two neurons, you're moving. And with movement, interesting things begin to happen. A special effects technician for the film was tragically killed in an accident on set during the London production of the Batman film. The crew member died when a truck carrying a camera platform crashed into a tree while following a stunt vehicle. So what do you think? A lot of bad luck, or is there more to it with Batman? The Exorcist. If you thought for a moment that it couldn't get creepier, then think again. This film's bad omen started before it was even in production. Jason Miller, one of the actors in The Exorcist, was approached by a real priest in the street. The priest supposedly had no knowledge of the movie Miller was going to be filming, what it was about, or that he was connected to the project. It's reported that the priest handed Miller a sacred medallion and said, Reveal the devil for the trickster that he is. He will seek retribution against you, or he will even try to stop what you were trying to do to unmask him. Perhaps that was a warning for what was about to happen? You can decide that. But from then on, it was pretty much downhill for the film production. The filming was delayed by a dangerous fire on set, which mysteriously left Reagan's, the possessed little girl's bedroom, unharmed. The cause of the fire was a complete mystery. But the production crew was so worried that the film was being assailed by an evil presence that they even called in a priest to bless the set. Ellen Burstyn and Linda Blair seriously hurt their backs during filming. Actors Jack McGowan and Vasilikai Maliaros died while the film was in post-production. Both played characters who died in the movie. In 1987, actress Mercedes McCambridge, who was the voice of the demon Pazuzu, from the second forward, <laughs> suffered a terrible tragedy when her son murdered his wife and children before taking his own life. If the deaths aren't enough to convince you of a curse, there's an alleged serial killer involved in the film, too. Paul Bateson, who played a radiology tech in the movie, murdered a variety reporter in 1977. At one point, he was also thought to have been a serial killer who murdered at least six other people between 1975 to 1977. But those accusations were eventually dropped because there wasn't enough evidence. What do you think about these seemingly cursed movies? Do you think they're just some tragic coincidences? 
or do you think it's more than just a little bit of bad luck? Let us know in the comments section.